This is a patch of tropical forest with species sometimes as elusive as coast. Wildlife in this area are so enigmatic that only their shadows are visible, while their heart-piercing calls can be heard from miles away. This is Holungapar Gibbon Wildlife Sanctuary. It's a 2,098 hectare tropical moist deciduous dipterocarpus forest. Holungapar is in fact the first protected area in India with gibbons as the focal species for conservation. Dipterocarpus reticus or the holong is the dominant tree species of the forest and is also the precursor to the name Holongapar. Holongapar, even though primarily a planted forest, exhibits striking diversity of vegetation. However, this wildlife sanctuary is a tiny patch of forest island situated in the Jorhat district of Assam in India. The nearest township, Morioni, is located only 3 kilometers away from the forest. Holongapar is surrounded from all sides by human habitation and cultivation. Tea is the primary cash crop for the regions surrounding the forest. On the western edge, river Bhogdoi, a tributary to the mighty Brahmaputra is guarding Holongapar from the extending arms of Morioni Township. The ability of Holongapar to harbor several primate species within such a small area is bewildering. The charismatic gibbons are the guardians of this forest. On the forest floors of Holongapar dwells a bright and conspicuous red-faced macaque. This is the stump-tailed macaque, also known as the bear macaque. With a characteristic erect pig-like tail, no wonder this species is known as pig-tail macaque. Cap langoose are the largest primate species found in Holongapar with a remarkably long tail and a hairy crown which resembles a cap. The rhesus macaque, one of the most sighted primates, are often found near forest fringes and raiding human habitation. Other species of primates found in this area are the elusive slow loris and the least seen Asmes macaque. With its rich habitat, the Holongapar ecosystem allows a variety of globally threatened primates to coexist and survive for generations. In addition to primate diversity, Holongapar also has an overwhelming assembly of other wildlife species. The mega herbivore of Holongapar are the Asian elephants along with 41 other species of mammals which are being reported from the sanctuary. The Malayan giant squirrel is the largest species of squirrel 
found in the sanctuary and also the most common mammal to be seen here. This squirrel is strictly an arboreal species and only seldom comes down to the ground for feeding. The palace squirrel is also one of the five species of squirrels found in the forest of Holongapar. Holongapar is also an important bird area with more than 250 species reported so far. The elusive and beautiful red-headed trogon seldom peeps through the bushes and can hardly be seen even though it can be heard all day long. Another vocal species of the forest is the white rump shama with its melody resonating the forest undergrowth. The Indian python is a silent predator of the forest, slithering along the trees and branches. This black banded trinket snake is one of the several species of reptiles found in Holongapar. The small pools of water in Holongapar are rich in fish and other aquatic fauna, which have hardly been documented. Dominated by the glamour of the primates, something that often goes unnoticed in Holongapar is its insect and other invertebrate diversity. There are altogether 211 species of butterflies reported so far from the sanctuary. Amidst the diversity and the background symphony of insects and particularly orthopterans, this forest also has a report of nearly a hundred species of spiders such as this giant wood spider. The forest type of Holongapar is classified as Assam Plain Alluvial, semi-evergreen to tropical wet evergreen forest. This forest has a mesmerizing diversity of flora with 489 reported species of flowering plants and 25 species of ferns. Some 157 species of plants found in Holongapar are categorized as medicinally important. The biodiversity of Holongapar has already started receiving global limelight. I've traveled through many countries of the world, many forests. Um, in fact, I've spent 30 years working in tropical jungles. Every time that I come to this uh, Gibbon Wildlife Sanctuary, um, it, it takes my breath away. The diversity of vegetation, the diversity of wildlife uh, in, in this reserve are amazing. Um, you go from large megafauna, elephants, leopards, uh, to some of the smallest unique species of, of insects that we see. Um, this, is, this is truly one of the jewels um, of our country and of our world. Gibbons are the star attraction of this green island of Holunga Park. They are the only ape species inhabiting the Indian subcontinent apart from humans. They are agile, brachiating from one end of the forest to the other often showing the best of acrobatic skills. Yet, the species is so shy and elusive. 
Hulog gibbons are strictly arboreal and only in exceptional circumstances they descend to the ground. The primary diet of the hulog gibbons consists of fruits and leaves. Hulog gibbons are usually active for 8 to 10 hours during the day, retiring at dusk. Adult male gibbons are black with distinct white brows. Females are wheatish and infants are grey-white in colour. Gibbons are known to maintain their territories through distinct calls and can be aggressive in case of an invasion. The population of Western Hulog Gibbons in Holongapar is well documented with 106 individuals in 26 groups. The group size of Gibbons typically ranges from 2 to 4 individuals. Western Hulog Gibbons today are threatened with habitat reduction and poaching. It is an endangered species and receives highest level of protection offered by Indian law. Globally, much of their original home range has reduced to fragments of forests such as Holongapar. Here, in this tiny forest, Gibbons face the problem of a growing population size. However, the greater concern is that there is no connectivity of Holongapar with the nearby forest areas and the gibbons here are languishing as an isolated population. The lack of genetic connectivity of gibbons to other source populations raises concerns on their long-term survival. The howling calls heard over long distances performed by gibbons make them unique. Their calls are haunting and equally emotive, inspiring the traditional folklores of the region. In India, cap langurs occur only in the northeastern region. They are highly social primates living in groups. A healthy population of cap langurs are known to exist in Holongapar as well. The population of these langurs are in decline across its range, mainly due to excessive habitat destruction and hunting. They are vulnerable as per IUCN Red List and are protected under Indian laws. Cap langurs are primarily leaf eaters occupying the middle part of the canopy. They have special stomachs which helps in breakdown of leaf cellulose. 
their salivary glands are enlarged which further assists in breaking down the food. Along with leaves, fruit is also a major component of their diet. Here we are observing a rare and interesting natural history behavior where the langurs of Holongapar are seen consuming aquatic vegetation and also invasive plant species. We can also observe their prehensile tail which is providing them additional anchoring support and safety while they are being careful going into the water. Troops of another primate species can be seen walking through the forest floor. They are often quite hard to observe through the dense undergrowth of Holungapar. Stumptail macaques occur only in the northeast of India. These macaques are not very agile on the trees. But on the ground, they are quite active and constantly moves while feeding during the daytime. They primarily consume fruits, leaves and roots. Macaques store the food in cheek pouches and save time in food gathering. This behavior also protects them from predators. Stumptail macaques live in relatively large groups and the male with larger body size dominates within the social groups. In Holungapar, a good number of as much as 233 individuals in three groups have been reported. The stump-tailed macaque is a globally threatened primate, listed as vulnerable in IUCN red data list. In Holungapar, stump-tailed macaques often ranges out of the forest and crosses human habitation to reach nearby smaller forest patches. Thus, smaller size of this sanctuary and lack of connectivity with other forest areas poses a threat to the long-term sustenance of this species as well.
Northern Pigtail Macaque utilizes the top middle canopy and are adapted to eating fruits and insects. They live in groups containing multiple males and females. There are reports of about 75 pigtail macaques in Holungapar. Usually known as a shy primate, pigtail macaques keep themselves strictly to dense forests. However, in Holungapar, pigtail macaques exhibit considerable tolerance to human proximity and thus can be easily seen along the forest roads. Like the other primates of Holungapar, Northern pigtail macaque is also globally threatened. With such behavioral adaptations, no wonder the jungles of Holungapar with its rich ecosystem allows so many globally threatened primates to coexist and survive for generations. Such coexistence of different primates has become possible in this small patch of forest because of apt partitioning of resources in terms of space, time and feeding habits. Holungapar is a lowland forest with numerous nalas or small streams entering the forest from all across the area. What is concerning are the nalas coming from tea gardens and entering the forest with effluents containing pesticides. It is a serious threat to the ecology of the sanctuary as the forest is surrounded by many such small and large tea gardens. The tea garden community, despite being an integral part of the productive tea industry of Assam, are some of the economically backward classes of people living at the fringe of Holungapar. In addition to tea communities, the villagers surrounding the sanctuary are mostly farmers. Paddy used to be the primary crop cultivated in the nearby villages. However, the mega herbivore, Asian elephants of Holungapar forest, are not confined within the forest when it comes to feeding. Crop depredation by elephants in the area has forced the villagers to shift their cultivation from paddy to tea in recent years. The surrounding areas of Holungapar are now a mosaic of human habitation and tea cultivation. Elephants are known for their long distance movements. However, elephant corridors that exist around Holungapar are also human dominated. This results in frequent human-elephant conflict in the area. Another long-standing concern for Holungapar is the railway line traversing through the sanctuary. This line poses a threat to elephants as well as other wildlife. The threat from this railway line is both in terms of loss of life 
and creating a barrier of movement for strictly arboreal species, including the western hullock gibbon. There are measures such as this iron bridge being constructed to connect two fragments of the forest so that the gibbons can move. Some of the locals nearby have strong opinion on conservation of the sanctuary. My name is Ibon Bora. 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 हंग्रेकन कुर्बर कारण है, विशेष पदक्षे लोबोलिगा नाइजेडु के तमन विशेष उपर गुप्तो दिले होय तो आमार गिबन कोन शेवजा हो जाबो, आमार गिबन कोन इतिया मौय भाबु गोसपुली लगवार कुनु प्रोजन नहीं, कारण है सारे जिकनी गोस कोजी से, ये गोस किनी जदी आमी सरकार तथा आमार जनरहारुने रखना बेखन दिवो तार भी तोट आमर जितु अंतरों का थोनी, अंतरों का थोनी तो बहुत डुबल, तार पर पट्टे के नजर रखी बोला की बो। गिबन उभरनोर बहुतो हमेशा से, तार भी तोट प्रथम हमेशा ही सबे मोर एटीए में बहुत कोई ऐसी हो या स्टाफ कम हो रहा बे, बहुत क्षेत्रों गुटे गिबन उभरनो खोन ड्यूटी करा क्षेत्रों किस्मन हमेशा सिस्टी हो। आरु यह के तमंत के हम पुरनोर पे खाली है ऐसे जिगिता स्टाफ कम हो रहा है मन होड़ी बापरा हुआ ना This is the person better known as the walking encyclopedia of Holonga Park. He is Deben Bora, a staff of Forest Department who is attached to this forest and its species. From his heart. Bon Bivakon mo kam kora utro ko ekahi silote mo khmai silu. Aro titya apay mo Bon Bivakon joito hisabe kam kuri hisu. Aro titya mo bahi jibila kamar gibonor ba obhayen na kono titya obhayen se ghokona hise. Tara kote mo news sunwal disoy bili hebila kote bivina zekan mo kam kuri silu. Aro eighty five apa osahi sun apa mo yate kam kuri bil arumbo koru. Aro titya asile hulunga par reserve forest. हुलुंगा पर हंगरो की तो बनानसल आरु हुलुंगा पर हंगरो की तो बनानसल कौन उन्हें इसको हटाने वाले सुनो तीस दुलाई ताई के गिबन बन्नो पानी अभयने से में घोको ना करा हुई सिले यात्रे मोर ऐता होरुप्रा खूब आग्रह सिले बन्नो पानी मो खूब भाल पाऊं आरु दिखनी अदे गोस गोसनी प्राइकनी मो निखन कोम होरुप्रा आरो ये तने के मनोरंग भावी था वो कितिया बा आरो ये तितिया मौय सेटी डाक लॉक पालो तितिया 98 99 ये दो टाब बस्सर कंटिन्यू आमी बारिखा खराली रोड बुरोखन हम पुन्नो जंगलों की तोड़े काम करले कुबी था पलों में आरो विभिन्नो प्रांतों पर हाजी हो कोल रिसर्च कोलर इखेत कोल लोगों पे मूलों कोटे प the Gibbon Conservation Center, situated in Holongapar, is a joint venture between Assam Forest Department and Arunok, a scientific research organization. This center regularly conducts trainings for forest staff on the tools of Gibbon conservation as well as trains budding researchers in conservation science. I've been coming to the Gibbon Wildlife Sanctuary now for seven years, uh, since 2010, um, working with my good friend and colleague, Dr. Dilip Chitri, uh, director of the uh, Gibbon Conservation Center. Uh, we're working together uh, on a training program in conservation biology and global health um, with the intention of trying to help promote um, motivation and, and interest in conservation uh, in the next generation of uh, researchers. Some of the tourist guides associated with the sanctuary also have their own sources of inspiration from the forest. My name is Siri Padib Burwa. 
মোৰ ঘৰ মেলেং লক্ষ্মীপুৰ গাঁৱত আৰু মোৰ গাত লাগি থকা গীবন এখন অভয়াৰণ্য আছে মই গীবন অভয়াৰণ্যখনৰ লগতেই সৰুৰ পৰা জড়িত আজি পোন্ধৰ ষোল্ল বছৰ মোৰ হৈ গ'ল প্ৰথমতে মই গীবন কনজাৰ্ভেশ্যন চেণ্টাৰত মই কাম কাম কৰিছিলোঁ অৰণ্যকত তেতিয়াৰপৰাই মই আকৌ গাইডত সোমালোঁ এতিয়ালৈকে মই গীবন কনজাৰ্ভেশ্যন চেণ্টাৰ এই গীবনতে মই গাইড কৰি আছোঁ তেনেকেই জীৱনটোক কটাইছোঁ এই গীবনখন সংৰক্ষণৰ কাৰণে আমাৰ স্থানীয় ৰাইজৰ লগত চৰকাৰে সহযোগ ৰাখিব লাগিব আৰু আমাৰ ইয়াত বিশেষভাৱে উপদ্ৰৱ কৰে হাতী বাঘ গাহৰি বান্দৰ বান্দৰটো বৰ্তমান এটা সন্ত্ৰাসবাদী ৰূপে আমাৰ মাজত পৰিগণিত হৈছে তাৰপৰা কোনো উপায় বিচাৰি আমাৰ জনসাধাৰণক যদি এই জন্তুখিনিৰ ওপৰত মৰমিয়াল কৰিব পাৰি তেতিয়াহ'লে হয়তো জীৱনৰ ভৱিষ্যৎ বহুত উন্নত হ'ব বুলি মই ভাবোঁ মই এটা কথাই ভাবোঁ যে আমাৰ মানে অভয়াৰণ্যখনৰ কিনাৰত যিখিনি গাঁও আছে গাঁৱৰ যে সকলো যুৱকক যদি এটা সুপথ দেখুৱাই দিয়ে যেনেকৈ গাইড কৰিবলৈ দিয়ে বা আপোনাৰ যদি কোনোবা যদি ধৰক পোষ্ট ওলাইছে তাত পোষ্টটো যদি কিবা নিযুক্তি দিয়ে তেতিয়া গাঁওখনত আৰু মানে উন্নতি হাবিখন আৰু উন্নতি হ'ব আৰু তেতিয়া হাবিখন কোনটো মানে মানে চেফটি হৈ থাকিব আৰু ওচৰৰ মানুহে যদি গাঁও হাবিখনত সহায় নকৰে হাবিখন যদি নবচায় আনে বচাব আহিব নোৱাৰে সদায় নিজে চিন্তা কৰি চাব লাগিব যে হাবিখন নিজৰ আৰু জীৱনখন নিজৰ আৰু জীৱ জন্তুকেইটাও নিজৰ ভাবিব লাগিব It is said that the survival of species depends on human interventions and actions must be taken to secure their dwindling populations. The future looks gloomy for these species. Will they survive or will they disappear? It is now in our hands. to keep the green island of holongapar intact and ensure the continuing existence of these species